Good morning, everybody. I'm going to be talking a little bit low because everybody's still sleeping. I hate putting away dishes in the morning. And this is why. It makes so much noise. I think I always put the dishes away at night. That's why I won't have to worry about making so much noise. Not that you should be in the morning. You should make noise, right? So that everybody, so that everybody can get up. <laughs> But that, not that much noise that you want to annoy everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like a subtle, a subtle noise, but enough to wake a person up. <laughs> okay, so let me get this coffee started. I don't have much, I just have the cup. I hope everybody had a good weekend. And I know it's Sunday. Is it Sunday? Yeah, it's Sunday. This is the day when you should really take that time to rest. Uh oh, I need to walk. No way. <laughs> and catch up on stuff. You know? Take a big dick. Oh, you made a dick for the week. Oh, God. To, to tell him not to bark, he's gonna he's gonna bark at the window. And I wasn't planning on taking anybody with me. And then my son's doing a um a double shift today, so taking the kids with me because um, they walk too slow <laughs> and I'm a fast walker so that's why I don't like taking the kids they go I, <clears throat> I think they're back <clears throat> they're back faster on their own dog right now. Like, it's too early for him to eat. I really like, realize that sometimes when I feed him. Because like he doesn't eat the food. You know, not that early in the morning anyway. He doesn't really eat. Ah, oh, my fingers. Man, just a little bit of heat. And already my fingers starting to feel bad. I notice I can't use hot water. Okay, so just waiting for that to be done. Ah, that cleaning's a mess. Yesterday, um, 
Except the only thing with the cake was that I used a lemon and kind of like, I didn't know, well, as far as lemon is concerned, that the taste expired and it didn't taste right. And my granddaughter was saying it tasted like medicine. And I was like, oh shoot, I know I shouldn't have used it. But I said, ah, oh, just because there was very little left, I said, I'll just let me get rid of it, you know? She goes, no, oh, it tastes like the medicine. I said, okay. But the, I go, well, what about, what about the lemon extract that put on the outside icing? She goes, that one tastes like lemon. I said, okay, good. At least something tastes like lemon. <laughs> I should have just made a whole lemon cake. That would have been awesome. I probably will at one point, you know, make a whole lemon cake. But, um, yeah, so I, what do you call it? Uh, just, they just wanted a cake, so I said, no. And the one who wanted the cake never had it, which was the little one. Top of the morning to you guys. Man, it is chilly out there already this morning. I went out, you know, to take the dog out, you know, right here in the yard now. And it is chilly. That good, you know, sleeping weather, you know, you just want to, you know, not get up and not do anything. I would have liked it if I could have slept in for a little bit longer, but the dog, um, the dog was up. He usually likes to go by the window, but at this hour right now, usually people are already walking their dogs, and just any little dog he sees, he'll, he'll go, you know, he'll go at it. This is going to be um, a quick one this morning because I have a little bit of um, a few clips already that are already over my time that I do usually. Um, so. Yeah, I don't want it to be too lengthy of a video, but uh, if I do go shopping today, I'll let you guys know, um, or, you know, you'll see me at the store, but we'll see. Uh, I just gotta go sit down. I am, like, so tired. I don't know why. <sighs> anyway, I gotta get this tiredness out of me. I should just, I mean, I, I've been taking, okay, well, I haven't taken my vitamins for the last, like, two or three days. Maybe that's it. Man, you really have to stay on those things. Once you, they wear out, it's like you feel so sluggish. But once you get back on them, you start feeling, you know, you got a little, you know, pep in your stuff, like, you know, kind of feel, you know. You, gets you going. So, okay, I'm going to call it. I'm going to go um, get ready to take him out. And then I'm going to go um, start on my journal. And I'm doing pretty good. I haven't missed a day yet, so I'm doing good. I'm like, come on, come on, you can do this, you can do this. I have to be my own cheerleader. <laughs> okay, guys, like always, my name is Emma. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm here every morning. Um, you can always like and subscribe. And if you wish, you can always comment. And uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, so I just finished decorating a small cake. I wasn't going to write on here or anything. I just wanted to, I made the yellow icing that's over here. I'll probably use it for something else as well, but maybe for flowers or for something. I don't know. Anyway, I put lemon extract in the icing because my grandson, he likes that lemon taste. So I said, okay, I'll, you know, I'll put some lemon extract. And you can really... You can really smell the lemon in there, so I hope, you know, they can taste it. But, and and then I have some leftover icing in the in the fridge, in this piping bag, some white. So I said, you know, let me use it up before it gets worse, and then I won't be able to use it at all. So, yeah, I just made a fast little cake for the kids, because they've been, you know, wanting cake for a while. I said, okay, I'll make it today. You know, amongst other things, because no, I don't think I actually cooked. I don't think I actually went anywhere today. No, I didn't. I just did uh, my morning routine. Then uh, took out the dog like I always do. Did I started with my devotional. I had to read a little bit because 
I was trying to, you know, make ends and tails of how, you know, it's supposed to work out. But, okay, the cake is done. I'm glad I got that done. I know my grandson's going to be happy. He's going to probably be the first one to dig into it. And then I did do the grungy templates because I have an old-fashioned book doll, a doll book that I had got at the thrift store. And these were the two pieces I got from the doll book. And then the one that um, needed for the grungy one was different. She needed, um, what do you call it? These guys, those two for the grungy one. So hers almost looked like looked like an hourglass of some sort. So I said, okay. So what I had to do was that because this is too I just want I had to trace this out of the book. So I used some tracing paper to cut these out. And then for the grungy one, I also used tracing paper. And and then I did and this, because I didn't have no more tracing paper left, I just used regular, you know, copier paper. But then I said, okay, so now I need to make this a little bit more sturdy because this is not going to help me when I put it on the fabric. So I ended up doing the same thing and I cut it out of, as you can see, it's on, you know, cardboard. And the same thing with the grungy ones. So. These are the ones I'm going to be using two of these for the legs and then two of these for the, um, for the arms. And I'm going to use her method the way she did it. You know how she did hers inside out with some, with these two long tubes, which I can, I can use anything actually. So this one, I'm going to start first. This one's going to be different because this one's going to be from. The book that I found at the thrift store. So this one's going to be a lot different than this one. But I'm going to do this one first. So I have everything, you know, together. And I'm keeping everything in the bag so I won't lose anything. Okay, guys. So I think I'm done for the night. And uh, I don't think I'll be doing anything else other than making, maybe making a cup of coffee. I already just spend a little bit of time with the dog outside. I might go back out there again. I don't know. It's just that once the sun is gone, that's it. The sun is gone and the temperature drops. So, yeah. No more summer nights. Unless, you know, we wait for Indian summer and then we have one last chance. Okay, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. So, here I am talking like an idiot and I realized I wasn't recording. <laughs> okay, so let's take, take two. <laughs> so, I was... This is my little setup. This is what I usually come out and do. I have been doing this like for about Wait, you, you two. That you weren't recording? Yeah, two weeks already, and uh, um, about a week and a half. I, I was out here last weekend, so but but what I want to do, I just enjoy my little ambience, you know, my little little corner. The only thing that makes me laugh is that every time the dog is out here. He'll stand right there, especially last night. I was kind of like getting a little bit worried because he kept looking at the gate. And I'm like, well, is there somebody over there? Because I can't see no, nothing from here. You know, I would be able to see something from over there because that umbrella is there. But from back here, I can't, when I'm sitting down here, I can't see over there. So I said, you know what, he, I don't know what he's staring at, but he's intently looking at something. And I'm like, it was starting to creep me out. And I was like, you know what, we're going in. <laughs> I'm going to take no chances. But this is not, you know, what I like. And again, I want to, I want to be able, um, later, I'll probably end up coming out more like during the, um, during the, what do you call it? And I like this because the little... This is like for mosquitoes and stuff like this. And I like it because it keeps the mosquitoes away. And then I have my little my little lights right here too. So and of course my my uh my radio gives off this disco <laughs> light thing too. But I wanna put here 
is one of those little stoves so I can boil water. I'll probably end up buying some uh, bottled water and keeping it out here. And I can get what doesn't matter as long as I don't open it. And just boil some water and have some tea out here because I know the, the cold is going to be setting in. And I just want to be cozy and have a blanket and just maybe read a book out here and drink a cup of, a cup of tea. During the winter, it'll probably be opposite. I'll probably be in winter gear <laughs> and drink coffee. But I just want to be out more. I don't know what it is. I just want to be outside more instead of being closed in all the time. But this is what I was talking about. This is my little ambience. I like the way it feels. And again, because I'm here, I can't see past the red truck, which I always find funny. That I literally have a little red truck in my yard. <laughs> It's so funny, but um, I really, you know, enjoy this, and right now, like I said, last night I was out here, and I had to put a sweater on because it was chilly. I was like, it's cold out here, man. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm going in. I said, even the dog was like, but we just came out. I go, but it's cold. I'm going inside, you know, <laughs> so I'm going to learn to not to come out here because I know eventually the, um, the time change is going to get darker even sooner right now it gets dark at around i'd say like 8 15 8 20 it starts getting dark so um yeah so yeah i'm gonna call it quits because my my son wants to use the phone that i have to get on today is saturday night crochet uh saturday night thread so if you want to join me for that uh, later on um, well, at least I hope you join me because you won't be seeing this until tomorrow. So um, I hope you joined me uh, last night. And I'm just going to be crocheting my blanket. That's all because I already finished the Halloween one. So, okay, guys. So, again, this is just my little area. I like to sit here and I can't wait to get my little stove and all uh, that. Uh, that, uh, stove. that. It's a little light. It's a camp stove. And you light it up to boil water. You know, like the girls, they do at the camping when they put up their tents. I wanted a tent. I wanted a, a tent here, but I said, you know what? I better not risk it. You know, if anything ever happens, God forbid, I don't want to start a fire. So, yeah, I try to keep it down to a minimum. But, um, yeah, I mean, I have, an, I have enough shade. You know, it, it'll work. It'll work. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it here, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of the evening before it gets dark and before... It gets cold. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we are. Here we are. <sighs> good. So feels so good to wake up to a new morning. <sighs> All right. So yeah. Even even now the weather is kind of like breezy and uh, and chilly. So yeah. That cool, nice sleeping weather is here, thank God. But it's just gonna put a, a damper on, on the eat, you know, the summer warm nights. Those are over. But that's how it is. We get we just gotta roll with the seasons. It felt good though. At least we went, we made it to the beach at least one time. Um I remember going to places and you know, you would think, you know, even with my mom, you know, when she used to take us to the, the parks and everything. And there were times where it would be in August and yeah, it would be what he called nice during the day. But it, when we were packed, starting to pack everything up man, it was cold and we had to hurry up and pack everything in the car because we were all cold because the nights were getting chilly. But we still had a nice day. So if you're gonna do anything, of course, do it, do it during the day. This, this weather is the, the type of weather that, you know, you go to the zoo, you go to museums because it's nice and it's not freezing. But at night, then that's when you gotta worry, especially if it rains. Oh my God. Have you ever been like to a park, a big park and you, you meet friends or whatever? or they have an event and then it rains oh my god and then it's nighttime or close to the evening 
and you're literally freezing out there because the, the rain and the wind is so cold. And I remember those that we had to walk all the way. We had to walk all the way to the bus stop and the bus stop is, you know, we're far. Because you kind of like, it's almost like a, a real, like a forest preserve kind of thing. And, oh man, I remember walking in the rain and no umbrellas and we're freezing. Oh my God. And this, Andy, well, I don't know. We used to go to drive-ins a lot too, but even when we used to go to the drive-ins, you know, it would be cold and you're trying to play out there, you know, underneath the, the big humongous screen, you know, where all the swings are at and stuff, but it would be too cold to swing. <laughs> oh my, yes, yeah, that kind of weather that's coming in. But you know, you deal with it, you deal, you try to make the best of it as much as you can, you know? You like how that looks. Can you imagine living in the garage? <laughs> I mean, I've seen some videos where people actually, their house is the garage. Now, so that's pretty cool. But, um, yeah. I guess I'm wearing a sweater right now. So, you know, let me hurry up and walk the dog because my grandson is knocked out. Take advantage of it. Otherwise, I'd be seeing, be, be seeing him popping up out of the gate. It's scaring the heck out of me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> and plus, you know, hopefully all the dogs are inside. Usually by 8.30 there. You know, they're usually not out. Especially over here. Sometimes I'll hear dogs over here. I think I can hear them inside. This one right here is usually out, so. Oh, he is, he is, no. I said no. He has a green bandana on today. <laughs> a green bandana. Nice to walk this morning. So, I hope you joined me last night. I will head to do Faith Night Friday. If you j did join me, thank you for tuning in. And um, i try to make it, you know, more consistent. I have Saturday night threads today, so I'll probably be working on my... Um, my blanket until I figure out what else I want to crochet. Other, although there's so many things I want to crochet. I've been watching, you know, people, uh, young ladies making um, ratten from ratten yarn bags and little, little tiny bags. This is so freaky. Yay! Yay! Excuse me. I just saw a bird and it's smushed. And look look how it's smushed. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> Poor birdie. Probably got ran over. Anyway. So yeah, I have to do that. And um still working on the flowers. I haven't even connected the flowers on my, on my bands are still just on there. <laughs> uh, oh, that Amigrami, what is that called? Uh, Amigrami little thing. The only reason I want to learn how to do that is because my grandson wants a turtle. <laughs> when are you going to teach me how to do how to crochet? I want to make a turtle. I'm like, oh, let's make a turtle. Okay, because they did go to, where was it? They went to the aquarium. Yeah, and he got, he brought back some kind of plushy turtle thing. He loves turtles. <laughs> and now he thinks one of his turtles is uh, pregnant. And I was like, no. I go, if, if you know, I mean, <laughs> we can't keep them, that's for sure. And no, don't be chasing pigeons. 
and um so i don't know how that's going to happen he did tell me that the the girl turtle that he had i mean does he that he does have had given had had eggs before but she ate them because there was no um way to you know to save them so she ended up eating the eggs i said <laughs> But I don't know how to incubate that. I mean, I don't know anything about saving baby turtles. So I don't know. So that's something he's going to have to figure out. Because either that or, you know, cause I'm, I'm not raising no baby turtles. <laughs> that's for sure. I don't got room for that. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm already seven minutes in. So, um, yeah. And we need to put a bike together. I don't know. I don't know how to put a bike together, but I'm gonna try. If not, I'll, t I'll have my grandson take it to his mom and, and have her do it. <laughs> we'll try to put most of it together, but when it comes to the gears and all that stuff, I don't know anything about that. So, okay, I need to go in, get started on my workbook, and uh, have a great day, guys. I hope you guys, guys go out and enjoy the day while it's warm. Make sure you come home early because it will be to start getting chilly at night. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so right now I'm doing the fighting, the fighting back with joy. Um, I'm not used to this one yet, but this is my first day with this. So uh, let me show you. Right here, it has, which don't include videos don't include videos because we can't get to them and even if you have a set of videos or tutorials online 
you most likely don't have all of them. And I would have to see, I mean, I did try at one point to go online unless I, I literally go on her website. Is the only way I think I'll be able to find her her um, her video. So I'm gonna try that today. I'm gonna try to look up her video, and if I see it, if it is online, I see all her videos online, then I will, you know, um, watch them. But as of right now, I've only seen like maybe three, and that was five, six, and seven, I think which I'm glad I have. So when I get to that point, at least I'll have those sessions um, on YouTube. But I'm hoping she'll have the videos on her website. So I don't know. Anyway, you have to watch the, the video. And then right here, she has some questions. And then it says, Joy animates out of the abiding sense of, and luckily I was able to, to find that. And I wrote it down, but there's nothing for tactic one, tactic two, and tactic three. They all say tactic one, marinate in the truth of, uh, live on high alert that, uh, bravely believe that, but you cannot find these answers unless you look at the video, which I don't have in front of me right now so don't don't include videos guys because then it just it just makes it more like it agitates you that you can't get to find the answers that you're trying to do with the book you know what i mean so luckily i was able to find the first one joy animates out of the biting sense of and the answer is God's fierce love for us. But I'm trying to marinate. I did find marinate. Um, marinate in the truth of that joy is a gift God wants to expand in our lives. I still haven't found live on high alert or bravely believe. So I'm hoping I'll be able to find it as I read it in here. But um, we'll see if it says anything about high alert or bravely believe. And maybe I can get it from that. But for right now, I'm going to see if I can go online and see if she has. Um, she does have a website. I've seen it. Where did I see it? Uh, check out her website at www.margaretfeinberg.com. Com. So after this, I'm going to check out the website. Hopefully, she'll have the videos on there. If not, I'm just going to have to make up my own answers because there's just no way for me to find the answers. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop here, and tomorrow I'll let you know if I found those videos or not. I'm just going to keep going for about a few more minutes, and, and then I'm going to stop. <laughs> okay, guys, we'll see you in a bit.